This is Stan Matthews. Welcome to the Matthews broadcast here on GEMS TV and radio streaming worldwide at www.gemsradio.net. Welcome to the greatest audience in the world to the alignment, upliftment, empowerment, enrichment broadcast on this June the 28th, Wednesday. Uh, we are here at GEMS TV and Radio Studios uh, streaming television, eating the lunch of Big Cable. Big Cable is on the run because of Netflix, Hulu, and yes, GEMS TV and Radio. So we are on the move. We are growing. Uh, we are getting bigger all the time. And we've got Big Cable on the run uh, because we provide alignment, empowerment, upliftment, and enrichment. I'm here with uh, my co-host Lisa Thompson and also we have special guests on this evening for you. We've got a great show in store uh, so stay right where you are. Uh, we are uh, being uh, inspired and uplifted by our image doctor Cornelius Hill doing his thing after coming back from a little bit of uh, uh, health stuff and also uh, some graduations. So stay with us. Uh, we'll be right back. One more thing. Okay, uh, back in the broadcast. Uh, this is the Matthews broadcast. Um, and as I said earlier, we want to welcome our special guest uh, in the house this evening. Glad to see Brother Cornelius back with us. Um, you know, I often say health is wealth. Yeah. Yes. When you don't have it, you realize you could have all the money in the world if you're on your back. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. It doesn't make a bit of difference. So always happy to be with my brother. Um, the first thing that we always do is begin in a place of gratitude. Uh, gratitude for what? Gratitude for those who support this broadcast and have made it uh, what it is, a destination for business owners, uh, to connect with the community uh, so that they can get the community support they need to succeed. Um, among those uh, that we are most appreciative of are personal friends that tune in, uh, Mr. Vernon Bradbury from the Newark uh, Bike Police, Captain, uh, Miss Allison Skeet uh, from the Distinguished Women of Guyana, the place of my birth, Mr. Joseph Peterson. Uh, Joe Pete is a retired educator, principal several times over at different institutions. Mr. Vinnie Jackson, the Attorney General's Office of uh, Philadelphia, PA. Uh, Mr. Greg Jones out of Willenburg, New Jersey, our mortgage guy. And Sarah Cepeda, our empowerment queen uh, in Cherry Hill. Uh, my cousin, Dennis Andrews, um, uh, in Pennsylvania now, removed from Jacksonville, Florida. I don't know about that one. Uh, Mr. Shaka Andrews in Miami. Uh, Leslie Andrews in Honolulu, Hawaii, Charlene St. Clair in Richmond, Virginia, Pinky Andrews in Hampton, Virginia, and Harry and Anastaly in Charleston, South Carolina. Welcome, guys. Uh, Mr. Otis Brown, Cool Otis, we talked today. Uh, he posted on LinkedIn, Cornelius, uh, Otis, jo Otis Brown has gotten a new position, self-employed musician. Wow. <laughs> and it had to be a joke. That's his way. Of, this is a good friend of ours who's a retired educator. Uh, he just moved to Atlanta. So he put his new job on LinkedIn. Uh, <laughs> congratulations to myself. New job, self employed musician. <laughs> right. So, Otis, welcome, self employed musician. <laughs> <laughs> Tyrone Scotty Howard, also in Atlanta, Mauricio Benito in Tampa, Florida. Greg Riley in Falls Church, Virginia. Harvetta Fax in Columbia, Maryland. Internationally, Audrey Pereira in Port of Spain, Trinidad. Uh, Phaedra Andrews, London, England. Why did uh, Amazon have to buy Whole Foods? <laughs> Miss Phaedra, she's the finance director for Amazon uh, Worldwide. Um, I don't know. You guys want to control everything. Uh, Simpson Da Silva in Georgetown, Guyana. Uh, fresh food for one million families in the world. Uh, Mr. Vegetable himself, Simpson. Uh, glad that you're with us, brother. Uh, Adaranka Batamosi from Bermuda. And, of course, uh, Anthony Hibbert 
vacationing with his children in Toronto, Canada. Get back home safe. Uh, we talked for a moment today, so, you know, uh, coming down that, um, uh, that Toronto Expressway and then on to the Queen Anne Highway and then on to Massachusetts and then ultimately the New York Thruway. That Toronto can be a beast. That's a 12-hour run. Yeah. I don't know less if you ever went to Caravana, but that's a long. Oh, run. I've been to well Canada Day. <laughs> I didn't. I missed Caravana. That's right. That's a but it's a nice. Hour. It's a nice run though. Oh yeah. My wife's oh, yeah. aunt lives there, so in fact we'll Toronto? be there. We're leaving Friday morning for Toronto. You're oh, here okay. in the. You're here in the. Voice Just north of, of Toronto. The one and only Les Daly, a CPA from South Orange, New Jersey, who was with us this evening as one of our guests. Uh, the second thing we do upon, right on the gratitude track is to thank the sponsors who make this broadcast possible. Uh, these are our super sp sponsors and we ask you to support them in their businesses uh, because these businesses support us. Uh, they are the foundation of the broadcast and they help to keep us doing what we're doing. Uh, first and foremost, as I said before, uh, the Matthews broadcast uh, connects small businesses, small urban business with the community support they need to succeed. Uh, directly after each broadcast on Monday and Tuesday and then beginning on the 10th of July on Wednesdays as well, we have a reception for our guests uh, as well as some strategic business partners so that they can get to know each other better and do business with each other, make referrals to each other. So come out uh, and join us in the inner circle uh, as we provide those connections you need and your business needs to succeed. Uh, first and foremost, um, Dorson Home Care is a breath of fresh air for caregivers everywhere. Uh, Dorson is a company that is owned by uh, Sonia Scott, uh, along with her husband, good friend Winston Scott. They have two offices, one in West Orange, right on Pleasant Valley Way, and one in Chestnut Street in Roselle. So for the best home care anywhere, uh, call 973-672-7691. Uh, that is Dorson, the best home care anywhere. Uh, secondly, Dream Builders, uh, helping you to build generational wealth, knowing how to use money, how to work money so that you become financially free, uh, better protected, uh, and also debt free. Uh, our friend Paul Dussard and his wife Serena uh, celebrated their anniversary Happy anniversary, guys. Happy anniversary. Yesterday, uh, you guys got 121 likes already wow. on Facebook. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was wonderful. It was a great wow. celebration. I know they were congratulating Serena for making a average choice and uh, <laughs> celebrating you, Paul, for making a great choice. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's not fair. I know he's going to oh. call me about oh. that. <laughs> you, you're still my man, Wealth Doctor. <laughs> so if you want to reach Dream Builders, uh, you can give them a call at 973-220-5026. They meet every Thursday night at 300 Midland Avenue in Saddlebrook. Uh, Dokita 247, making doctor's care available everywhere. Uh, this is a tel telemedicine company. You'll be hearing more about Dokita 247, uh, CEO Richard Afanja, CFO um, 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 Silva uh, Umokoro, uh, have a vision to give people in the Caribbean, South America, and rural parts of Africa who can't get to a doctor the ability to see their physician via telemedicine because while there may not be a clinic or a hospital nearby, People even in Africa and the remote places in South America and the Caribbean have a smartphone. And so telemedicine is a growing industry. Um, they can fill their prescription. Uh, they can uh, have a consultation with their doctor and share with their doctor if anything is just not feeling right. And the phenomenon in these countries is that um, they now have mobile clinics. Doctors Without Borders are investing in mobile clinics. The, 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 the Gates Foundation is investing in mobile clinics. So let's say a brother or a sister is not feeling well in Zimbabwe and he's 50 miles to 100 miles away from the nearest clinic or hospital. He simply uses his smartphone, consults with his doctor who has all of his 
medical data in the phone, uh, in the app, and the next thing you know, a mobile clinic is on its way uh, so that that brother, if it's an acute situation, can get the care he needs. So telemedicine, uh, you're going to hear more about it. The company is Dokita247, www.dokita247.com. Dokita is a word that originated in Nigeria. The Igbo people, the Igbo people called doctor in Nigeria, Dokita. So now you learned a little bit of, of Igbo talk. Uh, for your mobile marketing and advertising, guaranteed to take your sales higher, call Trey and Daniel at Billboards for Hire. Billboards for Hire is the companies with those trucks with 20-foot digital screens on the side, surround sound around it so you can hear it for blocks on in and crystal clear sound. Uh, you see them at politics, you see them at events, you see them at entertainment concerts. Trey and Daniel uh, are very good friends. So if you want to take your marketing advertising even higher, call Trey and Daniel at Billboards for Hire. Uh, Billboards for Hire can be reached at 917-756-0043. Divorce. Divorce is something that one out of two American couples have to deal with. So you want to deal with divorce in a way that's intelligent, sensitive, and informed. Uh, we advocate that you should call our master counselor, Ms. Cassandra Savoy, and you can reach her online at CassandraSavoy.com or you can call Cassandra at 973-748-0097. Nothing but nothing says I love you like flowers. You've tried the rest, now tried the best. A Rose's Petals, uh, Carolyn and Nathaniel Joe. Uh, own a Rose's Petals. Uh, they've been at 472 Broadway in Patterson for more than 21 years. And so for any need that you have around the corner, in state or out of state, they are flowers.com uh, best um, vendors. And so they're approved to do business all over the country. You can reach them at 973-742-5333. 973-742-5333. So yesterday when Paul was worried about, uh, what do I do, man? Um, we're going to go to a movie. That's our tradition. We always go to a movie on our, on our uh, anniversary. I said, call Carolyn Joe at Roses for Battles. I, oh, there it was. He looked like a hero. Yeah. <laughs> it's too hot, fellas. It's too hot to be sleeping in the doghouse. <laughs> You want to be under some air conditioning in the <laughs> summer. Don't forget, <laughs> all you got to do is call Carolyn. She'll make you look like the hero that you are. Right. So call her at 973-742-5333. Mr. G's, Mr. G's Restaurant, where good friends meet, greet, and eat uh, at 455 East 18th Street, 973-782-4020. Uh, My good friend Russell Grady, uh, the Dean of African American entrepreneurs in the state been in business for himself for 54 years 85 years old and still going strong love him to death mr g's at 455 east 18th street 973-782-4020 for advice and planning that's always great in matters of your real estate call smith gilmore real estate at 201-723-423 they're at 1258 teaneck road in teaneck lisa's hometown uh, before coming to Patterson, she was a peanut person. Uh, and then the grammar school teachers threw her out, told her she could never come back. <laughs> so, <not> she, <laughs> so her father had to move to Patterson. <laughs> you know, she's legendary in teenage. Not true. The, 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 the first child whitelisted. Uh, in the Teaneck school system. <laughs> they said, don't bring her nowhere. She has a 50-mile restraining order from the Teaneck school district. Her name is legendary up in Teaneck. Don't believe that. <laughs> Not true. Funding matters. Funding your plan so you can live your dreams. If you want to raise five to 25000 in working capital, call Funding Magnet. They have a unique crowdfunding technology where you don't end up having any debt. Your social capital is transformed into financial capital. So if you want to use, raise five to 25000 working capital with no debt, call Anthony Hibbert and the team at Funding Magnet at 973-357-3698. Funding your plans so that you could live your dreams. The mortgage you need for the home you want is at Citizens Mortgage, 
more than 20, 30 years of excellence at 26-01 Pellet Drive in Fairlawn. Ms. Marichelle Alvarez and her dad have been there. Dad started the firm. Marichelle is now the CEO. You can reach them at 201-398-0800, 398-0800. You want the max, get Optimum Tax and Financial Services. Optimum Tax and Financial Services uh, is owned by Ivan and Tony Maxey. They're at 500 Rahway Avenue in Elizabeth. They're five-star rated online and Better Business Bureau certified. Uh, they can do tax preparation, uh, which Les, I'm sure, knows about. They can also uh, represent you before the IRS as well as provide you other advisory services. So we have uh, uh, done uh, what we needed to do to uh, ask you to support our sponsors and we just want to underscore the four principles, uh, the four foundations of this broadcast and then go right into having you meet uh, and hear from our guests. First and foremost, this broadcast st stands for alignment, knowing who you are and whose you are. Um, we take this alignment principle directly from uh, the first chapter uh, of the book of the beginnings, Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26 to 28, says, And God made man and woman in his likeness and image, and gave them authority to rule and to subdue the earth. And so you have to line up with your kingdom identity that is our first principle you are a kingdom builder uh, the book of jeremiah says i knew you before you were in your mother's womb and i have plans for you to prosper you and give you a good end and so that is who you are so you need to align your mind and your behavior with that principle second principle empowerment remember you are a kingdom builder but nothing changes until you use those special gifts to change it. Uh, and so we know too far too many people that are always getting ready, always getting set, but they rarely ever go. And so to try and to fail is one thing, but regret, I think, is the greatest pain. And I don't know about you guys, but when you run into someone who is old and grumbling about the fact, you know, man, I should have... I would rather you said, you know what, I went after my big dream and it didn't work out. I fell down and you know what, but I tried, right? Nothing beats failure like a tried. I want to remind our audience that some of the biggest failures in the world are people who you don't remember for their failures. You remember them for their successes. Abraham Lincoln, person who is credited with saving the Union of the United States of America, ran for Congress 15 times, lost. How many people remember that? He won the 16th time, served two years in the House of Representatives, ran for president the next time and won. So he went two for two, Cornelius, but nobody remembers the 0 for 15. <laughs> Everybody remembers the last two, but the 0 for 15 is not talked about. Thomas Alva Edison, that light did not turn on after 12,000 tries. Wow. I know you probably don't know the name Garrett Morgan, but Garrett Morgan is a black man who was in that laboratory with him in West oh, yeah. Orange, and they tried a couple of more times, and the filament inside that bulb stayed on. But nobody remembers Edison or Garrett Morgan for the 12,000 times that the thing did not stay on. It burnt out. And they finally came up with a way to keep that filament on. So, you know what? you are only one second away from your breakthrough. Stop getting ready. Stop getting set. Go. Go. Regret is worse than the pain of failure. Uh, that's, so that's our second principle, be empowered. Third principle, upliftment. Uh, we take this right from Maya Angelou, our poet laureate, who said uh, in one of her most famous pieces, people may forget what you said, they may even forget what you did, but they will never forget how you made them feel. You are an individual unlike any other. God broke the mold when he made all of us. And so because you're dealing with a one of a kind, you should try and treat them with that kind of dignity. By the way, that's my biggest argument with the person who occupies 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue right now. The president's hard charging ways, no problem. His conservative views of the economy, no problem. I checked that box. Look, 15% tax, Cornelius, I'd love it. Mm -hmm. 
I love it. I'm saying my tax work. I'm sure everybody in this room wouldn't mind a tax break. But the indignity and the disrespect and the nastiness of how he deals with people. Awful. I, you know, Awful. They, you, you, don't, you don't need to do it that way. No. And that's why when he cries about the beating that he's taken in the media on these Russia allegations, I just basically say that's karma. Mm -hmm. That's karma. Remember, whoever you are with that nasty personality, digging down deep into innocent people, trying to harm people's personal reputation. When you throw that brick, you're going to feel it when it comes back at you. Mm -hmm. It may not be tomorrow, but that brick is coming, and it's going to get you real good because karma, we live in a circular universe. Karma, you could not escape. And so, as Dr. King said, the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards righteousness. And as they said in my favorite movie of all time, The Circle of Life, we are all wrapped up in the circle of life. Some days are not good days, some days are challenging days, some days are great days, some days are right in between. But all of those days make this wonderful salad that we call life. And while we're going through it, we should try and make each other feel the level of dignity that we would want to feel, the level of respect that we would want to feel, the level of love that we want to feel. Final principle, enrichment. Last year in America, this economy produced $19.4 trillion. That was the purchasing power of goods and services of all of America. Of that $19.4 trillion, brown and black people contributed $4.1 trillion. If they were to be counted as a nation by themselves, they would be the seventh richest nation in the world. Yet, if you ask urban communities across this country, they will tell you that things are not good. Their interactions with the police are not good. Schools are not what they want them to be. Hospitals are closing. Hospital care is threatened to be reduced by this Trump care that is being proposed right now. Um, but I say, if you have 4.1 trillion, what about your obligation to do better things with that money? If we, as brown and black people in urban centers, were to just save 10% of 4.1 trillion, we would, we would have 400 billion to, to do better policing, better hospitals, entrepreneurship, do better school. We could do all of this. Unfortunately, after we get that 4.1 trillion, it leaves our community in six hours. The dollar circulates in Asian communities 19 times, Jewish American communities 15 times. Our community, six hours. Friday comes, we get something to eat, we go out and have a good time, and then we send all of it out <laughs> on what I don't know. McDonald's shopping. I, I don't know. Buy hair. I don't, <laughs> a lot of stuff <laughs> is, go is, is gone. <laughs> well, you don't you don't invest in that. <laughs> I do not. Uh, <laughs> but you all uh, have to do it to the sisters. <laughs> so so I I didn't say anything about sisters. Yeah, see that? You know, if the shoe fits, wear it. So <laughs> so so the challenge of the 21st century, in my view, uh, is not physical rights and freedom. We achieved that in the 1800s, 1863 to be exact. The Emancipation Proclamation was signed by this president, made famous in the movie Lincoln. Then the quest for the next hundred years until 1963 was civil rights to give us equal protection under the law and that was achieved in the Civil, Ra civil Rights Act of 64. Now the third phase, in my view, is the imperative for brown and black wealth. The imperative for brown and black wealth. Self-sufficiency. Yes, we want good governance, but we have to do a better job building wealth for ourselves. And we already have the money. We already have the money. We need to do a better job. So I'm going to bring it to you locally. State of New Jersey last year, 437 billion dollars was the gross domestic product of this state 137 billion of that brown and black hands we represent 42 percent of the new jersey population 
137 billion dollars of purchasing power we can do a better job y'all I'm counting on us I know we're going to do it but we're going to keep beating this drum so that we keep this matter a matter of focus I'm going to bring in uh, my co-host at this point uh, Ms. Lisa Thompson evangelist Lisa Thompson uh, who is a recent graduate of the Great Pillar College, formerly known as Somerset Bible College, <laughs> and she is going to interview. Thank congratulations! You. <laughs> Thank and you. she's going to interview our guest this evening, beginning with the one and only Les Daly. All right, brother Les. So, would you please tell our audience what is the name of your business? Yes, my business is Leslie G. Daly LLC. Oh, okay. And How I provide. Long have in in uh, Maplewood, it's been nine years. Oh, okay. But as a CPA, 25 years. Wow. As a CPA. Okay. Long time. Okay, so you've had a lot of years' experience. Absolutely. What would you say is the unique value of your business? The unique value of my business is offering tax planning and tax strategies. Mm -hmm. Sometimes clients will come in just wanting to have their taxes done, just tax preparation. But I find the following year they come back in the same mold. Uh, mm -hmm. If they owe taxes one year, they end up owing again. In fact, they owe more the following year. By injecting some tax planning and tax strategies, mm -hmm. they're able to turn that around. Sometimes just simple strategies like increasing their 401k, in 2016, that was $18,000 that could have been stashed away. A number of people don't avail themselves of that. And what that does is it's pre-tax, so it reduces their tax liability. Uh, other uh, strategies such as um, annuities mm -hmm. or insurance contracts also donate in more. I find if they donate in terms of uh, you know, not only contribution to their church and charities, but donated stock and other appreciable assets. The beauty of that is you get a write-off, a tax deduction at the market value, and that's the beauty of it. Increasing their deduct tax deduction, reducing their tax liability. So strategies like that, I find, present a unique value to the clients. That sounds fantastic. So who is a great referral for you? A great referral for me would be someone who has gotten in trouble with the IRS. Mm. They owe maybe a substantial amount of tax covering maybe several years. With our expertise, we're able to go in, present that person, and actually represent them before the IRS. Because of our experience and dealing with the IRS for several years, a lot of the penalties can be removed. We can negotiate with the IRS and have those penalties removed. Also, we can negotiate what's called the offer and compromise. Mm -hmm. So that liability could be substantially reduced. Some, oftentimes, some people will say, why should I pay you? I can do this myself. And they try and represent themselves mm -hmm. before, before the IRS. And that's when they fail, and that's when they come to me. I, not just me, but the practitioners. I don't mind if they come to you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want more of the cut. <laughs> no, I appreciate them coming to me. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just that some people try on their own mm -hmm. to do it themselves. They fail, and then now they're in my office. And um, that's when I work out the strategies to remove, reduce mm -hmm. substantially those liabilities, tax liabilities. Okay. So that would be a good uh, candidate for me. Good. So what will you be offering our listening audience tonight for uh, in return for their support? For their good work and support, I would offer them a free consultation. Mm. Yes, absolutely. Uh, another thing I could do is for referrals that they give me, a 10% discount there you on, go, on their, their tax bill. And they're nice. you know bill as well. Yes. Okay, that sounds great. So how do they contact you? Web address, phone number, cell. Right now I have LinkedIn mm -hmm. that they can contact me on, and I, I'm in Maplewood, so I'm local. I'm not far away. Mm -hmm. Some people think, oh, he's far. No, I'm <laughs> local. 
so they can contact me. You need a phone number I can read yes. over on uh -huh. the phone? It's area code. The phone number is 973-327-2085. The number again, 973-327-2085. They can also fax me, 973-327-2095. Nine seven three three two seven two zero nine two. They can always email email me as well. It's L E S L E S D A L four six at gmail dot com.